Hello, and welcome to this online information event. My name is Dr. Lucas Gliptis, and I'm the head of the School of Business and Management. Today, I shall offer you an overview of the school. Before doing so, however, please let me refer to some facts of concern to Ukraine Cyprus in the post-Brexit era. One would wonder, why study at Ukraine Cyprus? Well, an overview of Ukraine Cyprus would demonstrate that we are a British university campus offering higher education in Cyprus, but also in the wider Middle Eastern and Northern African region. We offer double awarded degrees, that is two certificates, one from the UK and one from Cyprus. Euclid Cyprus benefits from the over 190 years educational experience and heritage that Euclid UK carries with it. It benefits from the high rankings that Euclid enjoys. Euclid was ranked in 2021 among the top 6.5% of world universities, according to the world, uh, to the Center for World University Rankings. It enjoys highly rated student experience for teaching and professional support and enhances employability and opens up professional routes for a strong network of stakeholders, partners and associates to who I will refer to in uh, the slides to follow. Further, during the turbulent COVID times, Euclid Cyprus has demonstrated remarkable agility in teaching and learning delivery modes by applying both hybrid and remote uh, approaches to teaching and learning. So what's our post-Brexit relevance and added value as a British university campus in Cyprus? Well, we are an established European campus of a UK university. In fact, we are one of the very few British university campuses operating in the European Union. We offer the students who will decide to study with us massively lower total costs of studying, that is both tuition fees and living expenses, compared to those that any student would experience should they decide to study in the United Kingdom. I would say that the total cost savings could amount to up to 50% of uh, the costs a student would face in the UK. Our graduates are not required to undergo such recognition of studies compared to their peers graduating with a UK degree only. Euclid Cyprus operating in a European Union country, participates in Erasmus Plus scheme, which allows both students and staff mobility for study and training to from any country under Erasmus Charter and under specific third countries. The double award degrees offering allows our students to seek professional accreditation in the UK degree and in Cyprus and the rest of the EU through the Cyprus degree. So welcome to the School of Business and Management the most enterprising school of Euclid Cyprus. Our mission is to offer practical and professionally oriented courses, which equip our students with knowledge, experience and analytical skills that are in high demand in the marketplace. Our key measure of success is for our graduates to enjoy employability in managerial, professional and entrepreneurial pathways, contributing to social and economic development locally, regionally and internationally. Our key target at the School of Business and Management is to offer market-oriented, market-relevant and double-awarded programs. We offer, therefore, a portfolio of undergraduate and postgraduate programs which equip students with cutting-edge knowledge and skills in the fields of study. All programs are accredited by both the UK and the Cyprus Quality Assurance Agency, hence enabling the double-awarded offering. Our undergrad degrees portfolio comprises a BA honours in accounting and finance, followed by a BA honours in advertising and marketing communications, a BA honours in business administration, a BA honours in English language studies, and finally, a BA honours in hospitality and tourism management. Our undergrad degree portfolio is supplemented by our postgraduate degrees portfolio, which comprises a master's in business administration, which is also available in a distance learning mode a Master's in Hospitality in Tourism and Event Management, and finally, a Master's in Education Leadership. Who are, who are we? We are a team of 44 academics and academic practitioners, all committed to teaching and learning excellence and to innovation and research. Our academics have studies from among the best European and American universities, and they produce research whose outcomes are of interest to both the industry and academia. 
we possess disciplinary expertise, which is quite diverse, ranging from such areas as accounting, advertising, corporate law and tax, economics and statistics, education leadership, English language and literature, entrepreneurship and innovation, finance, family business management, hospitality and tourism management, human resource management, operations management, marketing, and sports business management. How do we understand teaching and learning at the School of Business and Management? Well, we apply a triadic pedagogic approach, where, which rests on three pillars. Industry-informed teaching, research-informed teaching, with both of them enabled through the deployment of state-of-the-art technologies and teaching and learning methodologies. This comprises the extensive utilization of our Blackboard platform, the use of presentations, debates and, pres and simulations. Industry-informed teaching is of particular importance at the School of Business and Management. And among others, it comprises giving access to our students to impactful real-world case studies, to the insights that insightful and inspired business leaders can offer via live testimonials, and through encouraging them to participate in local and regional competitions. Research-informed teaching at the same time is also of paramount importance. And this is because it gives the opportunity to our students to get access to summarized findings of state-of-the-art research which concern to their chosen field of study. It also allows us to enhance our students' analytical and research skills through directing them to particular to the participation of particular research projects via internships and also through their participation in research seminars that we run at the School of Business and Management. What do our students think about us? Well, according to our latest student survey, 3.3 out of 4 students are satisfied or very satisfied with our school and with the teaching and learning practices that we deploy there too. Should you wish, please have a look at student testimonials which feature in our website. How do we engage with industry? Well, as I shall show in the slides that follow, we work with a number of partners and associates to enable for a superb student experience and engagement. We have a, a number of partners and associates, and in these slides I can only refer to uh, some of the most important to us. And all of them support us to offer a superb um, uh, extracurricular offering to our students in all disciplinary areas for which we offer degrees. So herewith you can see some of our key partners and associates in accounting and finance, ranging from uh, our three accrediting bodies, ACCA, ICAW and SEMA, as well as from some of the uh, big four companies, uh, the local Cyprus uh, Institute of Certified Public Accountants, as well as key providers of uh, accounting and control uh, software, uh, who are also world leaders in their fields. In hospitality and tourism management, we also enjoy memorandums, memorandums of understanding with um, um, key associations in the field, as well as with uh, hotel chains with presence both uh, locally and overseas. This is of particular importance to our students in the field who seek to get internships uh, and other practical experience, as well as the potential of um, um, a permanent uh, position after they graduate. And this applies uh, to uh, our students across degrees, I have to say. In business management and leadership, we work with CEDAR, the Center for Entrepreneurial Development Alliance and Research, to um, enable participation in competitions such as the business idea competition of our students, which enhances their entrepreneurial and uh, business idea mindset. CEDAR also facilitates our students' participation in research internships. Also, in collaboration with the International United Commercial Agents and Brokers Association, we offer professional certifications in legal issues as well as in marketing and trade. And as such, we offer an EU CAP training approved program. 
Also, we offer a professional certification in business ethics, which is enabled through uh, the collaboration with the United Nations Global Compact and the United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime. We are particularly grateful to all our partners and associates for giving access to our students to live testimonials, to competitions, to internships, and uh, also the availability of joint thesis, dissertation supervision with these partners is of paramount importance to enhance the experience of our students. In English language studies, apart from working with the Youth Board of Cyprus to improve the linguistics and literature, uh, skills of our students. We also work with the European Commission and the European Parliament in, in Information Office in Cyprus um, to provide for the EPSO event. And here I offer some pictures of how we engage with all those partners and associates I have referred to in the previous slides to enable our students participate in competitions, in live testimonials, in field trips and guest lectures, um, to benefit from the enhanced knowledge through the participation of such partners in the entrepreneurship Cup and the innovation toolkit that we run at the school, as well as from the provision of professional development activities, uh, also through the Human Resources Development Authority of Cyprus. It's important to know that our students' employability is very attractive. 98% of our graduates got a job according to our graduate survey or pursue further studies. 74% of them got a job directly related to their field of study, while 71% of them got a job within three months following graduation. Also, our students benefit from the Erasmus Plus mobility uh, through both incoming students, that is students who we welcome to the university and we had 58 of them over the past six years and we had another 18 who wish to study overseas. In this slide you can also see some pictures of uh, competitions we run at the school that is the next gen accountant competition and running the economy for a day competition. This is just a sample of competitions of course as well as the chartered financial analyst research challenge competition which is both a local and international competition. Some further engagement uh, opportunities for our students, which comprise the Business Idea Fest competition, which this year ran online due to uh, the effects of the pandemic. The Entrepreneurship Camp, which, I, which runs annually and in conjunction with CEDA and our MBA program. Ideodromio, which runs in conjunction with uh, the Ministry of Education. The Innovo Business Society, which enhances our students' business and entrepreneurial mindsets. It's a student populated and run, it, it, it's a society, excuse me, populated and run by students, as well as a number of other um, continued professional development and uh, other symposiums and forums, such as our sport management symposium. Thank you very much for uh, your attention. Should you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you. Hello, dear MBA candidate. Uh, in the next minutes, I will briefly introduce our MBA program on campus at Euclid Cyprus. My name is Panagiotis Kontakos and I am the course leader of the program. My presentation will refer to the program's structure, to our new professional placement module, which is a new feature of our program. Uh, our teaching faculty, our existing cohort of students, and uh, the admissions criteria and the learning climate of our program. Our MBA program is designed for those working in a variety of managerial, technical or professional roles. And this is a leading and globally recognized qualification. It is one year course full time or two years 
part-time on campus and there are two possible starts, September or January. A completion of 90 ECTS credits or 120 ECTS credits with the optional professional placement is required. All modules are 10 ECTS except for the dissertation and each semester has two compulsory modules and also three optional modules out of which one should be selected. So in total, six modules plus the dissertation to complete the program. The program aims to enable students to integrate and enhance their existing work experience with their studies. It covers a range of managerial topics such as human resources management, operations management, research methods, marketing, project management, data analytics, strategy, finance, entrepreneurship, consulting and coaching skills. Further, the available part-time and full-time routes, evening and weekend lectures, facilitate our professional scholars to balance their busy professional lives with the program's requirements. A few more words about our professional placement, which is an optional module normally undertaken in year two. Uh, the optional placement enables students to acquire first-hand experience of business practice and gain insight into potential career opportunities. The placement period covers a minimum of 24 weeks up to a maximum of 40 weeks. And during this period, the student writes a placement log under the supervision of a tutor from the side of the university and a supervisor from the side of the company. Our internationally recognized faculty and experts are committed to support you in this highly esteemed MBA qualification. All are PhD holders with long experience of delivering teaching in higher education and in many cases also professional business experience. Our rector has been protagonist in the development of other MBA programs in the United Kingdom in the past. And uh, something which is important to mention is that our UCLAN Cyprus faculty works together with UCLAN UK faculty to develop, deliver and refine our modules. Our program runs almost 10 years in Cyprus. It is uh, currently the most popular master's program at UCLAN Cyprus and our existing MBA cohort exceeds 70 students. Over the years, more and more working professionals are enrolled in the program, both from Cyprus but also overseas, and they are coming from both the private and public sectors. Admission is based on a holistic review of each candidate's profile in order to assess your ability to benefit from the program. It is highly recommended that candidates have acquired at least two years of work experience. And in terms of minimum educational qualifications, a lower second class degree or an equivalent professional qualification is expected. Candidates without a degree but with substantial professional experience will also be considered for the part-time route. Finally, our thought program is supported by a wide range of parallel extracurricular activities. 
such as retreats, local and international field trips, the entrepreneurship camp, the innovation toolkit, consulting and coaching projects, live testimonials with entrepreneurs and guest lectures and workshops with outside professionals. Thank you very much for attending this presentation. I will be available via email or please call me directly for more information. Welcome to this short video, which will take you through the MBA distance learning program of UCLan Cyprus. My name is Anthea Vloniti, and I am the course leader of the MBA distance learning program. Generally, the MBA is considered the world's most renowned business management qualification and the most popular postgraduate degree in management. Partly, this is because, based on research, an impressive proportion of MBI alumni are in senior management positions or executive roles just three years after graduation. The MBA Distance Learning Program of UCLan Cyprus enables prospects to obtain a fully accredited MBA degree at a distance learning mode tailored to professionals with increased work commitments located anywhere. If you're interested in applying for the UCLan Cyprus MBA Distance Learning Program, this presentation will help you to determine why you should choose this program, what is the course content and learning strategy, and finally, who will teach and support your education. Do you wish to obtain an MBA, but you have limited time to attend on-campus lectures? Are you working in shifts or do you have a fluctuating working schedule? Are you currently located in another country or living abroad or traveling frequently? Do you prefer an independent and autonomous mode of study? If yes, then the UCLan Cyprus MBA distance learning is the right choice. One of the advantages of this program is that it enables, by default, abundant flexibility for learning, as it is based on a model of asynchronous teaching. It provides weekly recorded online and asynchronous lectures and activities. This means that there are no weekly timetable sessions online or on campus and therefore suits the needs of any participants professional and personal life. The second advantage relates to curriculum design and learning. It provides an avenue to learn advanced business concepts that will give participants an edge in leading organizations through Blackboard, which is the main learning platform and the use of a variety of tools, which Blackboard includes. Students enjoy a structured approach to learning, which incorporates engaging weekly activities and opportunities to share and exchange views. The third advantage is that the program has been designed around the needs for students' personal and professional development and continuous learning in the path for employability and career progression. For example, students have the opportunity to engage with consulting projects, as well as coaching and mentoring events. The MBA distance learning course contains 11 modules covering all important aspects and concepts of business and management and explores decision making across corporate, functional and operational levels, as well as entrepreneurial practices. These are management environment, marketing, accounting and finance, HR, data analytics, operation strategy, consulting, learning and research strategy, coaching skills, and finally the dissertation project. MBA distance learning students do not require any prior knowledge or experience to fully participate in these modules as a large proportion of our MBA students come from different educational or training backgrounds with different university qualifications and different professional experiences. Our modules incorporate a variety of learning methods and tools. In addition to the asynchronous lectures, the modules include engaging weekly activities such as online debates, discussion boards, case studies, videos or pod podcasts from scholars, experts or successful business leaders. In addition, our MBAs can participate in online workshops and engage with reflective activities. Furthermore, students received 
guidance on researching and have access to a massive variety of sources such as ebooks, e journals, leading databases, videos, digital media, and many more. Our MBA distance learning students may be located in distant places, but we make sure that they feel close. They can participate in a variety of university committees and meetings. They can engage with student bodies or course representation or join the alumni activities. MBAs also receive support through their academic advisor scheme, the student support officers, the online counseling service and the WISER program. Furthermore, me as a course leader, along with all the tutors of the program, build and maintain very close communication and interaction with our MBAs, thus making sure they make the most out of their studies and they reach their academic goals. Finally, all modules in our program are delivered by PhD lecturers, which are highly experienced across different areas of expertise. The British quality that defines UCLan Cyprus and now our MBA distance learning program is guaranteed as it is fully acknowledged by the Cyprus Ministry of Education and Culture and the UK Quality Assurance Agency. If you would like to learn more about our program, contact me or talk with our admissions officers. Thank you very much for watching. Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Aspasia Similidu and I'm the course leader of the master's course in hospitality, tourism and event management here at UCLan Cyprus. I will take some time to take you to the exciting world of services and explain to you what our program is all about and what's in it for you. So let me introduce our course. Let me start by saying that service is a feeling. Why is service a feeling, really? When you buy a hospitality service, for example, you actually buy the positive and unfortunately even negative feelings that you may experience while you're interacting with the service provider. This is what you're buying, right? You're not buying anything tangible. You're not buying anything that you can take with you at home. You're just buying experiences. That's why we call service a feeling, and that's why we believe that it is very unique to be able to sell a service. And it is a talent, actually, for some people. This program will teach you how to maintain the high standards that are required from you as a professional, and of course, how to manage effectively in this beautiful, challenging, inspiring and unique industry. So what's in it for you? First of all, if you decide to join us for this master's course, you will enhance your academic knowledge on important areas around hospitality, tourism and event management. In addition to that, you will learn how to apply theory. We will engage into discussions, exchange ideas and knowledge with our academics and of course other students. Some students will be already professionals in the industry with whom you can exchange ideas and, and knowledge and other students are simply bachelor's graduates that have decided to take this further, complete the master's course and become professionals in the industry. You will develop yourself in all three areas and you will choose your career path. And we're always here to support you. Choose the right career path for you. You will take the opportunity to practice what you have learned to develop yourself and increase your chances for permanent employment if you decide to follow our optional internship module on the second year. So this is about the first year. On the first semester, semester A, students need to complete two compulsory modules while we start introducing the dissertation module as well. 
and they also have a choice of one out of three electives. This completes semester A and we move on to semester B when you have to complete two compulsory modules as well while we continue working on the dissertation module and you also have a choice of one out of three electives. On the third semester, you are completing your dissertation module together with the assistant and support of your supervisor. On the second year, on the first semester, we are running an optional internship module for the students that are interested to take up the opportunity to follow this um, module. This internship gives you an opportunity to gain professional knowledge and of course increases your chances for permanent employment. What you actually do, you're working for 240 hours at an organization of your choice, either in the hospitality, tourism or event management. And during this time of the first semester, you have to complete two assignments to finally complete this internship module. Of course, as I have said earlier, this increases your chances of getting permanent employment. So it is a great opportunity for all our students. I will finish this short presentation by giving you a promise. I know we're all going through a challenging situation right now with the COVID-19 pandemic. And the whole industry is going through a number of challenges. But I promise that we will travel again. People will not stop traveling. This industry will still exist and it will grow and develop. And it is there waiting for professionals like you to join it and to take things further and overcome any upcoming challenges. If you want more information or you want to discuss with me on any academic matters, please send me an email this is my email address and I will be more than willing to discuss with you any concerns or anything that you want to talk to me about. Thank you very much and I'm looking forward to welcome you to this course. Good evening. I am Maria Zeniu and I have been given the honor to introduce you to the MA in Educational Leadership at UCLan Cyprus. The course is suitable for anyone who wishes to pursue a career in education, coming from any subject domain and aims to gain a deep, advanced and sophisticated knowledge and understanding of how to lead your classroom, your team, your school or teaching organization. Our scholars are teachers at primary or secondary education or trainers. The course is also suitable for specialists who teach at higher education and need a teaching qualification and for individuals who are responsible for training in their organization. Anyone who needs to explore employment opportunities at key positions that require a leadership qualification will find the course beneficial. In this presentation, I'm going to discuss two things. A, why to pursue an MA in educational leadership, and B, why you need to choose UCLan for that. So if you wish to remain competitive and employable, you will need specific skills leadership skills, problem solving, critical thinking, creativity and the research skills. In the unpredictable work context, there are no ready-made solutions. Therefore, you need the knowledge in order to be able to develop and apply the appropriate tactics and solutions on leadership issues. 
As such, you will get to know how educational leadership applies in practice so that you have an impact on your organization. This master's is about what a postgraduate needs to do to thrive and excel in the modern teaching environment, what the employers, the government, the parents, the society expects you to do and meet all challenges and demands. As such, you will increase your employability and career uh, prospects. So why you clan Cyprus? The course will offer you world-class education, bringing almost 200 years heritage. This will enable you to stand out at a highly competitive job market and have increased employability. This also means employment in an international market. We have outstanding educational resources, we enable engagement with the research at our research centers, the Center for Innovation in Education and Linguistics, and KELT, the UK Center of Excellence in Teaching and Learning. We had student success in terms of co-authoring research papers and presenting. We follow a hands-on approach this is a practical course that allows you to integrate theory and practice. We create opportunities for networking via extracurricular activities and continuous professional development events, engagement with the teaching community, with the policy makers, government officers and educationalists. We have small staff student ratio and our student feedback shows a highly rated student experience for teaching and professional support. Uh, finally, we offer flexible delivery at COVID and post COVID-19 times. The program is built in the UK and Cyprus. It is a high quality course taught by research active academics primarily from the Euclid Business School and practitioners with PhDs. It adheres to EU master standards and has all the characteristics as to make an impact on your career, your societal status and your well-being. You will deep dive in leadership, gain analytical and reflective skills and expertise in the field. You will engage in knowledge transfer activities via presentations and professional dialogues. You will be assessed via projects and individual assignments. The topic of this is based on your professional interests and links to your expertise and practical experience. As part of the core modules, which you can see on the slide, you will explore key questions. How to lead your classroom? How to lead your school? how to make the most of the emerging technologies in teaching, learning and assessment. How do you design an effective curriculum for students around your subject domain? How do you improve student performance? How do you improve the learning outcomes? Moving into semester three, you will already have a sound understanding of leadership and research methods and you will be able to complete your final project in an area of educational leadership based on your interests. So overall, this is a promising and interesting course. You will become leaders and you will be able to evaluate the significance of your decisions and the impact of your decisions at the workplace for the development and the well-being of your students, your staff, your organization and the community. Contact me at mzeni1 at uclanac.uk. Thank you very much for your attention. Hello everyone, my name is Maria Resti and I am the Senior Student Recruitment Officer at UCLan Cyprus. I will just share my presentation in which uh, we will be going through the application procedure and any other general information regarding the admissions process uh, to UCLan Cyprus.
Okay, how to apply? It's a very uh, straightforward and simple procedure. Uh, and of course, our university advisors will be, guide, will be guiding you throughout the procedure. And uh, you will be taken step by step in order to finalize the whole procedure and become one of our students. You will first of all need to complete uh, the application form, which can be found on our website, either as a PDF format file or um, simply complete the online application form that we have. In any case, you can always email us on the general admissions email, which can be found um, at the bottom of the slide, and you can make a note of it. So um, you can email us and we will email you back the PDF uh, application form. Now, for the undergraduate applicants, we will need to have the school living certificate and the mark sheet as well as the English language qualification certificate, which can be anything um, such as IELTS or IGCSE or TOEFL or any other equivalent. If you're not sure whether we can accept your uh, certificate, you can always email it to us. We will evaluate it and we will get back to you uh, with the decision of the admissions department whether this document can be accepted or not. In any case, if the qualifications that uh, you're currently holding cannot be accepted by the admissions department, you can always take our own uh, English language test, which is also internationally recognized. And uh, we arrange accordingly and uh, as per your availability in order to take the test online even. Uh, along with the previously mentioned documents, we will also need to have your ID card or your passport copy. Now, for the postgraduate applicants, we need uh, what we have previously said about the undergraduate applicants, plus a few more documents, such as the bachelor degree, as well as the transcripts, uh, your personal statement, uh, your CV, and two reference letters sent to us directly by your referees. The application uh, will cost 50 euro, that is the application fee, and it's non-refundable. The payment methods uh, will be discussed with you, uh, with the advisors of the university, and they will be guiding you, as I said, step by step in order to uh, successfully make your payment and uh, being able to apply and evaluate your application. All of the documents will need to be emailed to your university advisor or to the general admissions email at admissions at uclancypress.ac.cy. Now, about the entry requirements. For the undergraduate programs, we will require from the applicant to have a high school living certificate, such as uh, the Apolitirion, if we're talking for local students in Cyprus or in Greece. And for international students, we can accept the A-levels, uh, the IB or any other equivalent. We know that in each country there is a different certificate, uh, the equivalencies all over the world are different. So if you have questions or you, and you're not sure whether we can accept uh, your qualification or not, as I said, you can just email us and we will get back to you with, uh, with the evaluation. Um, we will also need the English language qualification, the IGCSEs or the IELTS, and also depending on the course that you will be choosing to study, um, there is an entry requirement, a specific entry requirement uh, and a specific mark that we require in order to be admitted. For the postgraduate programs, we will need uh, the applicant to have a bachelor degree or equivalent. Uh, it will have to be, uh, if we're talking about UK bachelors, it will need to be a UK lower second class bachelor degree. And uh, for any other country where uh, the marking system is different, we will make uh, the equivalency and we will inform you accordingly. Because in some countries, you know, there is a GPA or um, it's, uh, the, the mark is counted differently. And for all of the master programs, we will need to have an IELTS equivalent to 6.5. If you do not have IELTS, you can provide any other equivalent uh, uh, certificates or still take our own English test that we are providing at the university. And of course, we need to mention here that the language of instruction of all the programs and the assessment is in English. 
Now, for all of our international students, the non-EU students, um, we will need to uh, apply for a student visa. So, all non-EU students are required to apply for a student visa in order to study uh, at UCLan Cyprus. Again, uh, we have a few steps so it's easier and uh, better for you to understand and to see that the procedure is not uh, complicated. Um, we will just simply take it step by step and I will explain it to you uh, right now. As a summary though, uh, I will not get into um, much details because anyway your university advisor will be guiding you uh, throughout the whole procedure. Step number one is to complete the application form that we were previously talking about, which is um, application form in order to be admitted at the university and of course to pay the application fee. Now, as long as this application, um, as soon as this application fee will be paid and we will evaluate your documents, you will receive your offer letter. Then you will need to start collecting the documents for your student visa application. As soon as you collect all of the documents, if you have any questions and if you're not sure, you can always email them to your university advisor. We will check the documents and we will get back to you. Now, if you're sure that you have collected the correct documents, you can proceed with attesting them. Um, the attestations, though, vary from country to country and therefore, depending on each document which is listed um, uh, on the list that you will be getting from your advisor, uh, there is a different attestation. So every country has a different attestation. Your university advisor will be giving you the list and will be giving you the places where you will need to be going to have your documents stamped and attested. Step number five is to email all of these documents to your university advisor with the stamps, with the attestations, in order for your advisor to check them and to make sure that everything is correct. We will never um, uh, leave you alone just to send any documents uh, which may be wrong and submit them to the migration with the risk of being uh, declined uh, and not get your, uh, your entry permit. So we make sure uh, as a university and as a department that all of the documents that you provide are correct and they will be accepted by the, uh, by the authorities, by the migration authorities. So once we confirm that the documents are correct, you can then move on to step six, which is the easy part here. And it means that you will need to send all of the documents that you have collected, originals and copies, um, depending on the country and depending on the, on the documents, will be uh, mailed to us maybe by courier, to, um, to have them here in hard copies. Now, um, as a general guideline, um, you need to remember that all the applications uh, for the visa and all documents are evaluated by the Migration Department and the Ministry of Education. So, as soon as uh, we have a decision and as soon as the decision is communicated directly to us, and your university advisor is aware of the decision, we will inform you accordingly. About the scholarships, we do offer scholarships. We have the academic merit scholarships, uh, we have athletic scholarships, and we have some other various uh, bursary and discounts. For the undergraduate scholarships, we are offering 40% and 50% on the original tuition fees always. And that depends on the mark that you have on your high school living certificate. So depending on your country, depending on your qualification, uh, you may be entitled to a 40 or a 50% scholarship. For our postgraduate students, um, they are entitled on, uh, on getting a 30% scholarship, up to 30% actually, and that is uh, upon a successful uh, course leader interview. This means that if a postgraduate student would also like to apply for a scholarship, we will need to arrange an interview with the course leader or even the head of school and uh, um, the, the, the course leader, the academic staff, will decide uh, the percentage that the student is entitled to. The athletic scholarships fall under some specific scholarship schemes. That is why we also have the Athletic Scholarship Committee, 
which uh, will evaluate your case, will evaluate your documents and any proof that uh, you're indeed an athlete and we will decide, this, the, the committee will decide and they will inform uh, our department whether you're entitled to any specific percentage or any specific discount as an athlete. Other bursaries and discounts that we are offering, which is uh, mostly for the local students, um, we are giving uh, some municipalities and communities bursaries, some bursaries and discounts and special prizes to some companies and organizations that we have collaborations with. Uh, there is a large family bursaries. Uh, also, uh, we do have a discount for siblings and for our alumni, of course. And if you're not falling into, um, if you're not under any of these categories that have been previously mentioned, you can always inform us that you need to apply for a scholarship and that you need a scholarship and uh, you may be granted a special bursary. You will simply need to complete a scholarship application form. You can ask for this form, um, your uh, university advisor, the form will be provided to you. You can complete it and the committee will have a look and decide on the amount uh, you will be entitled to. Now, this is the recruitment and the admissions department. Um, as you see here, uh, we're four people in the department. It's myself, it's uh, Mrs. Androniki Elena and Mrs. Andonia Ioannou, who are the student recruitment officers. And uh, these are the advisors that will be guiding you throughout the procedure, including myself. And we have our admissions officer, Ms. Katerina Petru, who is the officer who will be evaluating and issuing your offer letters. And in any case, you can either contact me via email or via phone or WhatsApp or Viber. Uh, it's also available or, or through our uh, general um, um, emails and phone numbers, which you can see on the right side of the slide. We have the admissions at uclancypress.ac.cy. We have the phone number of the university and, of course, our website. You can also find us on, uh, on different social media. It's uh, worth to check them. And if you would like to be more informed and if you would like to have a personalized session with one of our advisors, or with one of our course leaders, um, you have the chance to do so by booking your online information session. Uh, we're available every day, Monday to Friday from 9.30 until 4.30. So you can simply uh, book your session at your most convenient time. And one of our advisors will guide you on how to join the meeting. Through these uh, online information sessions, you will be able to find out how to apply at the British University of Cyprus. You will uh, discuss your career options and our programs of study with uh, the advisor or with the course leader. You will get into more details about the entry requirements. You will have a virtual tour of the campus and the award-winning facilities. Um, and as I said, you can also book the online session with the academic faculty. I would like to thank you for, um, for attending this webinar and uh, we do look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.